Hi guys, how are you? So this is a very... <sighs> I had to prep myself to make this video for someone. And I have to be obedient because the Lord showed me something prophetically early this morning. And it was a prophetic dream. But as I was in the dream, the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. When I woke up out of the dream... He let me know I had to write down certain things. So I, I woke up after this dream. I wrote down what I remembered from the dream. And I went back to bed, but I didn't sleep. I was analyzing everything that I saw. And he was highlighting. He started highlighting certain words. And he started highlighting certain events that I witnessed in the dream. And he audibly would mention things that I had to open my eyes again and, and write again. So... This is for someone that watches my channel. I'm going to say this. This is very hard for me to say. My goodness. So I was in this dream. It was very prophetic. And I was you in this dream. Whoever you are watching me, you have a little boy. You have a son. The son looks like he was about between the ages of like five to like age nine around that age range okay there is like a day a daycare or some sort of after school program that your son goes to okay and the lord highlighted the time frame so the after school program was between i think like three o'clock up until like eight o'clock something like that okay and you decided to drop off your son to this after school program and you decided to go and see if you can find your husband to see if he's being unfaithful as you went look you went to look for your husband to see if he was unfaithful because remember i'm you in the dream so i remember dropping the son the boy at the after school program and then i remember looking for a man and I'm like, I didn't know who the man was. I know it wasn't my person because there are times in the dream where I would walk by a mirror and it wasn't me. It was you. So I knew right then and there, okay, God is showing me someone's story that I have to put a word out for. So I ended up at the entrance of this like movie theater, this mall or movie theater place. And I was looking at the building. And as I was looking at the building, I started to see different, a screen, like a movie theater screen. And I started to see clips of, cause there was a, the, the mall was there, but there was like a, a, there was like a screen, a big screen, like a movie theater. That's why I wasn't sure if it was like a movie theater or a mall, but it looked like a mall with a, a screen. Cause I saw the screen and all these clips were coming up on the screen. All the clips that came on the screen were different places that, your husband was taking this woman, okay? And it showed a restaurant, it showed a movie theater, it showed all these different places where they would meet up and go on dates, okay? This is really hard for me. Lord, give me the strength. Lord Jesus, give me the strength. So, my gosh. <sighs> this is really difficult for me to talk about. Um, so after I saw all that, I went into a dream that was within that dream. So I was still in that dream, but the Lord took me somewhere else. The Lord took me to your wedding and I was watching. Now I'm not you anymore. Now I can actually see you and you're standing at the altar with your husband and I'm in the audience, like I'm in the, the audience where like everybody, all the family is, except nobody can see me. I only know I'm there. You can't see me. Your husband can't see me. Your family can't see me. Nobody can see me. I, I'm, I'm there, but nobody can see me. So I knew right then and there that God had me there observing something. This is not a wedding for your future. This is something from your past. So you are already married or you're separated, okay? I, um, God didn't really tell me if you were separated right now or if you've already gone through a divorce, but he was telling me that 
this was your wedding from the past, okay? And instantly as I was observing everyone in the family, right, I saw this woman. This woman, she was wearing her natural hair out and she's short, okay? She's short. She has natural 4B or 4C hair. Um, she's like my complexion or a little bit darker and she's thick and holy spirit give me the strength i noticed that as you were at the altar she was looking worried and she was making eye contact with someone and when i looked at her eyes and looked at the altar she was looking at your groom and she was looking worried so I knew right then and there that the reason why God highlighted that was because I had to pay attention to this woman and pay attention to the groom. So as you guys were coming down the aisle now and you guys were greeting the family and talking to the family and everybody was communicating, I was looking at the husband, your husband or ex-husband. I'm not sure if this is if you guys are not together anymore, but he was because if even if you guys are not together, God is revealing a secret to you right now. OK. Oh, Jesus. So. The husband now was looking at the person. I, I don't know who this woman is, but he was looking at her and they were making eye contact with each other. And the eye con she was still, she still had this worried look, but she looked at him like, like a nod, like a yes. And he looked at her like, like a nod, like a yes. So they were communicating with each other through their eyes. So the, I knew right then when I saw that, that there was something going on between them and they communicated through their eyes. So this is a person that went to your wedding. This is a person that went to your wedding. She was not a bridesmaid, but she was with the family. So this is someone that went to your wedding. 4C here, short, thick woman, okay? Something that the, that the Lord highlighted to me when I saw this, I heard the Holy Spirit whisper as I was observing this. When I was in a dream, he said, teacher so this woman is a teacher or you're a teacher but i think it's this woman he's talking about she's a teacher okay jesus this is not easy for me so <clears throat> that all transitioned back i went back to i transitioned out of that dream and then i went back to um the movie theater mall thing so i ended up back there and then I Holy Spirit, heard the Holy Spirit say she needs to know, okay? And then he let me know that this is an affair that's been going on with this person and your husband or ex-husband. And this is someone that is a teacher, someone that went to your wedding, okay? Again, I don't know if you're the teacher or she's a teacher, but he mentioned teacher. And I feel strongly he's talking about that woman. So I'm going to read... When I woke up out of the dream, because I woke up after that, after he confirmed affair, I was like, nah, I'm out. I woke up on purpose because I'm like, I don't want no part of this. But I, I had to be obedient. When I woke up, he kept, God kept telling me things audibly and showing me words to write down. And he also said, the word that he showed me highlighted in the spirit and he audibly said it as the vision formed with this word, he audibly said it as well. He said, August 14th okay so august 14th there was some type of date significance to august 14th okay movie theater okay your son goes to an after school program she was at your wedding okay and something about she made fun of you she was making fun of you or somebody was making fun of you pertaining to this whole affair this whole situation okay um, she is short and they have been having an affair for a while. So they were sneaking around with each other for a while. Okay. He also said, you're not together anymore to let me know. Okay. So there we go. Cause I wrote it down, wrote everything down. So you're not with this person anymore, but this is someone that you need to be aware of. This is, this is a secret that he's revealing to you about this person. Okay. He also said that this person's going to come clean. Okay, and he also said something about you moving. Okay, so you're going to move and this person's going to come clean. Another thing he said was, um, 
Oh, my camera. So he said, okay, so he said that this person's going to come clean. And he said that that um, you are going to move. So all these signs, you're going to know that this is the per. This is, sorry, this is your word because this is a friend or family that is a teacher she is short she is thick she has 4b to 4c hair okay she's my complexion or a little bit darker she looks the age that she looked when i looked at her she looked like she's like in, either in her like late 30s to like mid 50s that may not help but you know you have a son that goes to an after school program you dropped him there to check if she, if he was having an affair and again, there was a movie theater, there was a restaurant. I started seeing all these things play out in the movie screen, okay? The places that he took her. She was at your wedding. Also, people made fun of you pertaining to this situation. She's a teacher, okay? And they've been sneaking around for a while. You guys are not together anymore. So this is either either separated or divorced. But God, again, God is revealing this to you. And yes, they're going to come clean and move. <sighs> when I received everything from God pertaining to the situation, guys. I was like, I don't want no part of it, God. I don't want no part of it. But I knew that I had to be obedient because... When I said I want to know part of it, the Lord showed me in the spirit. I didn't go back to bed, like, sleeping-wise. I just laid there, my eyes closed. I start to see my face form in the vision, and then I start to see myself, myself recording this exact video. So that was indication that he wanted me to record it, okay, to put it out. Another thing that's very important for you, the date August 14th is, is very significant. Not only that, but he wants to mention this to you. Although you're not together anymore with this man, the Lord said this. This is very important. Listen to this. He said, you are protected and he removed you from this man for protection. So this was protection. You guys are not together anymore. Again, I don't know if you're separate or divorced, but the Lord said this is protection. He's protecting you from this person, from this man and from this woman who is supposedly your friend or a family member that's been having an affair with this person, this husband, okay? Or ex-husband. So I just want to say, everything that is happening right now in your life and everything that has already happened, it's for God's protection. Like you not being with this person no more. You are going to get physical proof of this prophecy of everything going on. The Lord does not reveal something in the spirit that is not going to come to light in the physical god is not a man that he shall lie nor does god is god two-faced nor is god a gossiper when god reveals secrets it's to give you freedom it's to set you free it's to give you the truth it's so you can move forward it's so you can see who the wolves were around you it's so you can understand why things didn't work out with that particular person or the friendship didn't work out with that particular person so god is protecting you he wants you to know that you're protected he is going to bless you so you can move okay so this is a confirmation for someone okay god bless you I love you guys and God bless you. I love you. And I, I had a very hard time delivering this word. Um, but I have to be obedient. And this is hard for me. Okay. Cause I when it comes to things like this, I don't play. Like I, I'm very like sensitive when it comes to things like this because I've been through this. So it really hurts me to see that someone else went through something like this. Okay. Anyways, I love you guys. Bye.